Hey guys, welcome to a new video. It is said that in life there are only two certainties, death and taxes, but I actually think there's three, death, taxes, and of course, offended dairy farmers. I'm not gonna critique Joker because I'm certainly not even gonna see the movie now for sure. So as I'm sure you're all aware by now, Joaquin Phoenix won the best actor last weekend at the Oscars for his role in Joker. And during his speech where he talked about all the different forms of injustice throughout the world, he also drew attention to what happens in the dairy industry. We feel entitled to artificially inseminate a cow. And when she gives birth, we steal her baby. Even though her cries of anguish are unmistakable, and then we take her milk that's intended for a calf and we put it in our coffee and our cereal. Of course, as we can expect, this caused a lot of controversy within the dairy farming community and many dairy farmers are not particularly pleased that Joaquin Phoenix took the opportunity to state an objective reality about what happens within their industry. So I thought maybe for this video, what we could do is we could go through some tweets, maybe some videos, and we could critique and look at exactly what it is that dairy farmers are saying in response to Joaquin. So let's start off nice and easy with a few tweets because there's some interesting videos coming up. So I think we should ease ourselves into what's been said by these farmers. And so this first tweet says, completely uneducated celebrities like Joaquin Phoenix are doing this to our nation's hardworking farmers. Do you all really want to starve? I think it's such an interesting thing, isn't it? Because all Joaquin said, right, is he said that calves are taken away from their mothers. So Joaquin Phoenix stands on stage, he says, calves are taken away from mothers. And a dairy farmer's response is to say, do you all really want to starve? I don't know, I feel like I missed that bit in Joaquin's speech where he said that he wanted everyone to starve. I mean, he merely just stated what happens objectively within the industry. I also think it's amusing that because farmers are hardworking, that all of a sudden means that what they're doing is morally justifiable. I mean, I don't think we could deny for a second that human traffickers are, of course, hardworking, but we'd never say that human trafficking is morally justifiable just because those who commit the act apply themselves when they do it. So that tweet was actually a response to this tweet. So I'll read this tweet and, and we'll go through what it, what it means because it's, it's quite interesting and manipulative in its tone, of course. My dad asked me this morning in a depressed voice, do you get the feeling that we are losing the battle? But that's what they want us to think. Say a big lie enough times and even a farmer like my dad starts to believe it. But dairy isn't going anywhere. Now, there's, there's two things that dairy farmers are great at. And, and the first thing is exploiting sentient beings for profit. And the second thing is betraying themselves as the victim in that situation, which is actually quite impressive because I imagine it's quite hard to portray yourself as the victim when you're, of course, the oppressor causing suffering to others. But dairy farmers do this quite seamlessly at times. And I think what's interesting is the way they use this depressed voice. You, know, you see this and you think, oh my goodness, this is terrible. This dairy farmer, he's saying this. He feels so beaten up by it. He's depressed. He feels like he's losing. That's so sad. You know, how could Joaquin say this? But it doesn't really make any sense, does it? Because what they say afterwards is they want us to think that. Say a big lie enough times. But what is the lie? That's what confuses me about a lot of these responses from dairy farmers. Is they're saying that Joaquin is lying. That's, that, that's not what it's like. He's only stating what is objectively true. Dairy calves are taken from their mothers and then we take the milk. I mean, there's nothing controversial about that statement. That statement is objectively true. And so what is this lie? Dairy farmers are trying to portray it as if there's some nefarious lie that vegans use and this propaganda that we keep perpetuating. But all he said is what everyone knows to be true and what dairy farmers do day in, day out to make money from their industry. So I don't know what this lie is. And this bit at the end, dairy farming isn't going anywhere. Shooting male calves in the head isn't going anywhere. Forcibly impregnating mothers isn't going anywhere. Taking babies away from their mothers isn't going anywhere. Taking mothers to slaughterhouses and cutting their throats isn't going anywhere. I, I think it's quite cute, if anything, that they say dairy isn't going anywhere because I can definitely think of one place that it's going. And now let's move to this clip that I found on Twitter because this is a fascinating clip from a farmer called Bryn Davies. Now the clip's called, let's have a drink to the biggest flog on Twitter. And so before I play the clip itself, I wanna just talk about who the biggest flog may be. Flog's an interesting word to start with, isn't it? But let's say on the one hand, who we have is Joaquin Phoenix. He just swept the awards season, won best actor, of course, at the Oscars last weekend, but did so at the BAFTAs, at the SAG Awards, and of course the Golden Globes. He starred in the biggest R-rated film of all time. And not only that, but he's considered as one of the most highly regarded actors, not only of his generation, but of 
history. So that's what we have on the one hand. And on the other hand, we have Bryn Davis. And let, let's see exactly what it is that Bryn thinks is a good response to what Joaquin said. Let's raise our glass to Mr. Phoenix for his Oscar win. Cheers, mate. <laughs> what I like about farmers on Twitter is, is they often say, you know, farmers need to get on Twitter, don't they? Because then we can show what we're like, you know, we can show what farming's like, we can portray the real imagery behind farming, we don't have to worry about propaganda, we should get on Twitter and spread the message. And then this happens, isn't it? It's almost like farmers are like, right, let's act normal, don't do anything weird, don't do anything strange, don't do anything that people who are not within the industry will think is a bit strange, right? Just, just act normal. <laughs> There's also a few more clips on Twitter of farmers drinking milk and then uploading it to their Twitters. And it normally comes with a title which says like, this is for the pansies or, you know, for the snowflakes. I think it's really ironic. I mean, it's kind of obviously ironic, isn't it? Because normally people are called snowflakes because they're easily offended. And what we have here is farmers who've become easily offended taking to Twitter to post a video of them drinking milk to reassert their dominance and their masculinity. I mean, it's kind of an indictment, isn't it, of their fragility, both as individuals, but the fragility of the industry, really, isn't it? That whacking, stating what is objectively true and what is legally documented as being acceptable, he states that as happening within the industry, and then they become so offended by what happens being spoken about publicly that they then have to take to Twitter to drink a glass of milk. I mean, it really is a deep indictment, isn't it? And it's kind of a little bit sad, really, that these men feel they have to breastfeed on camera to assert their dominance. Tom Oberhaus wasn't up last night to see the end of the Oscars. Here it is. He sure couldn't pick Joaquin Phoenix out if he had to. This is interesting, isn't it? This is like a, a clip taken from, uh, from the news, I'm not sure, probably some local or regional news station in Wisconsin. And it starts off by trying to demean Joaquin because this farmer doesn't know who Joaquin is. It's like, oh, this farmer has no idea who Joaquin Phoenix is, you know. This farmer here has no idea, so basically what he says is invalid because this farmer has never watched Joker. He's not even seen Gladiator, right? And because of that, what Joaquin said just doesn't mean anything anymore. And in response, wanted to show us Tampa, Excellent. who he says birthed a calf not even an hour after Joaquin yeah, Phoenix left the stage. Isn't this crazy, right? This farmer wants to set the record straight. So the camera crews are in there, they're doing some filming, and they're going to show everyone in the world that it was wrong for Joaquin Phoenix to say that baby calves or calves are taken away from their mothers and we take their milk. And the way this farmer's going to do that the way he's going to show everyone that what Joaquin Phoenix said is unacceptable is by showing a calf who's been separated from their mother. How did they think that was a good idea? Like, it's quite audacious, isn't it, that they think that people are going to see that, which what we've seen is a calf who's been taken from their mother and is in a little pen, right, a little solitary confinement pen. That's what we're being shown here by the news station. And yet the whole piece is trying to say, don't listen to Joaquin. Don't listen to Joaquin because what he said is absolutely correct and we're going to debunk what he said by showing a visual representation of what he said being accurate. I'm not going to critique Joker because I'm certainly not even going to see the movie now for sure. Well, it's all over then, isn't it? Forget the Oscar, forget the BAFTA, forget the Golden Globe, forget the SAG, forget the critical acclaim, forget the fact that Joaquin is in the biggest R-rated movie of all time. It's been for nothing because Farmer Tom, he's not going to watch Joker now. And so what's it all been for? We just wave it off and go, hey, ding dong, you don't have any idea what's going on out here at the farm. I mean, I'd love it if he'd come out here for a couple hours. That would be awesome. That's an invite, Mr. Phoenix. Come on out. See what life is like on the farm. I like the insult ding dong, and I find that farmer a little bit endearing in that moment when he says it. But it's just so ironic, because he's like, hey, ding dong, you know, come visit this farm. Come see what it's like on this traditional Wisconsin dairy farm. Hey, ding dong, come visit this farm. And what you said happens on live TV will show you happening in person as well, because that's exactly what does happen, isn't it? And I think it's just super ironic that dairy farmers say this, like, oh, you've never visited a dairy farm before. Or if you had to see what it was like on a real farm, you wouldn't be saying these things. But what would change about what Joaquin says? Let's say Joaquin visits this farmer's farm in Wisconsin, and he sees the calf who's been taken from their mother in the pen. And then he sees the mother having the milk taken from her udders, and he sees that milk being taken to the pasteurizing tank and then bottled and sent to a supermarket. 
What then changes about what Joaquin has said? That's what confuses me. What this farmer should be saying is he should be saying, hey, ding dong, please do not visit my farm. Whatever you do, do not set foot in this farm. Because if you do, I will reaffirm to you everything that you said on live TV. And I'll reaffirm to you what you already know to be immoral has been even more immoral because I will show you it in person. Ding dong. We, we feel we have real important jobs in the world. We help feed the world. I mean, here's a good idea as well, isn't it? If you're trying to prove Joaquin wrong, then don't show an image of a calf being fed by a bottle from a human because that kind of proves everything he said as being true. And because everything he said is true, it then proves it as being immoral because what you're showcasing on your farm and on the news is that you do take babies away from their mothers and then you do feed them milk powder replacements because we take the milk and drink it ourselves. To me, this video, it seems like a parody. It seems like it's a mockumentary setup to prove Joaquin being right. Because in an effort to try and show that he's wrong and to try and debunk what he said, all they've done is reaffirm to the viewer everything that Joaquin said in the first place. Here's a separated calf. We've taken their milk. So here's some powdered milk being fed to the calf by the farmer. You know, we, we feel we have real important jobs in the world. We help feed the world. It's kind of important that people have food to eat. I mean, oh, come on. Don't flatter yourself. Dairy farming is by far one of the least important jobs in the world. I mean, to start off with, 75% of the world is lactose intolerant to begin with. But not only that, but it's one of the most environmentally destructive industries on the planet. And it causes suffering to billions of animals every single year. Everyone on this planet benefits when the dairy industry crumbles because it is destructive and wrong in every single sense. And so to try and convolute what you do as a dairy farmer with actually beneficial forms of farming, that being plant-based agriculture, of course, is incredibly disingenuous and it's also deluded because everyone suffers from what dairy farming does. It has no redeemable qualities whatsoever. And just because you've done it your entire life and just because you make money from it, and I sympathize with those problems that you have been ingrained within the industry, but those problems don't necessitate it existing into the future. It has to be dismantled and you have to diversify. Dairy farming is one of the least important jobs on this planet. And what do you do, Mr. Phoenix? Oh yeah, you entertain people, okay. Yeah, that's right. What do you do, Mr. Phoenix? You provide joy and entertainment to tens of millions of people all around the world. And then you use your platform to talk about all forms of injustice and how we should come together and show love and compassion to make the world a better place. Well, step aside, Mr. Phoenix, because I force bulls to ejaculate. I then take their semen and restrain cows. I then put my fist inside the anus of cows before forcibly impregnating them. After that, I then take their babies away from them and I take the milk meant for their babies from them and I bottle it and sell it for profit. And then when the mothers can no longer provide for me, I send them to a slaughterhouse so they can have their throats cut, all so I can make a little bit extra money. Well, let's finish the video there. Um, as you can see, there's been a wide range of different responses from farmers, but all sharing the unity of being offended and dismayed. And I'm confused by that because I guess what this really illustrates is that the dairy industry is incredibly fragile. So fragile it happens that when someone objectively states what happens within their industry, they become outraged, so angry, furious by it. Because I guess when it's said to an audience of tens of millions of people, and as I've watched hundreds of millions of times online, it starts to sound not very good, doesn't it? Now, the dairy industry, it seems idyllic when farmers portray what it is that they do using their own words. But as soon as you take that dairy farming bias away from what they do, and you start to look objectively at what happens, and you just state it, dairy cows have their babies taken away from them and the milk that's meant for their babies is then taken from them as well and given to us so we can put it in our tea, coffee and cereal. When you state that objectively, it makes dairy farmers upset and angry because it doesn't sound good. And so when people are in the supermarket and they have a choice between cow's milk and say oat milk, all of a sudden they start thinking to themselves, well, why would I want to buy that cow's milk when I know what happens to the baby calves? Objectively, what happens to the baby calves. Now, perhaps someone could explain to me, really, why is it that dairy farmers think it's acceptable to say that vegans are lying for stating something that's objectively true? Why is it that dairy farmers seem to be able to get away as portraying themselves as victims simply because Joaquin Phoenix objectively stated what is true? Now, let's imagine the reaction of, like, a potato farmer. If Joaquin Phoenix had got on stage and said, potato farmers pick potatoes from the ground, everyone would be like, well, of, of course, of course they do. 
Now, oh, well, let's say strawberry pickers, they pick strawberries from the plants. That's objectively true. And no one could be offended by that. Because of course, how could you be offended by that? How could you think that that was wrong? Objectively, it just isn't. But then Wacking goes on stage and he says, we take babies from their mothers and then take their milk. Objectively stating a reality of the industry in the exact same way, but all of a sudden that's offensive and he can't say that because people are having their cognitive dissonance challenged. And when people have their cognitive dissonance challenged, it causes them to act irrationally and not logically. And that's exactly what we're seeing here. People acting illogically and irrationally because wackiness state is something that's objectively true and undeniable. And instead of actually responding to what's been said, we just say, well, wackings are a liar and vegans are spreading propaganda. And here's a, a, an image of me drinking a pint of milk to prove that point. And here's a clip of a calf being separated from their mother to prove that point. The dairy industry is crumbling and farmers are increasingly aware of that. And anything that exposes the reality of their industry is a threat because the reality of their industry is horrendous, immoral, and it needs to come to an end. All right, guys, well, let's finish the video here. So I wanna say again, a huge congratulations to Wacking um, and huge gratitude to Wacking for using his platform to talk about animal rights issues and also to talk about all forms of injustice and the need for us humans to address not only how we treat each other, but indeed treat all life on this planet. So thank you to Wacking for that. I consider myself quite the film buff. I've always enjoyed watching films and Wacking's always been a phenomenal actor in my eyes. And so to see him using his platform is an incredibly wonderful thing. Thing. and to see anyone in positions where they have a platform speak out against forms of injustice to me is just a wonderful wonderful thing so thank you Joaquin and thank you to people like Lewis Hamilton and others who do the same but also thank you to you for watching this video I hope you've enjoyed it and I will see you in the next video